Cactus. Thanks, Charlie. Hey, Renegades, it's Sean Smith. And, and let's talk a little bit about the Predators' loss to the Arizona Coyotes. I'm not going to break down plays. I'm not going to go into a lot of details, but I am going to say this. It's expected that this Predators team is going to lose a lot of games between now and the end of the season. I think while they still have a better chance of making the playoffs than they do of getting the number one overall draft pick in the uh, draft coming up, I still think it's important to be aware that this team is going to lose some games. They're getting ready to play a pretty tough slate of games against a lot of top-rated teams. Um, And it's not expected that they're going to be able to win a lot, all, or even most of them. There's probably a chance they'll lose a lot of them. However, the Predators were up against a team that's not very good at all tonight. And they did not get the job done. In fact, it looked pretty rough. Again, not going to go into a lot of detail here. But the fact of the matter is this. <clears throat> Been doing a lot of polls on the Twitter, uh, finding out from fans what they think. And, and just very briefly, I'll have a bigger article coming out about this over at A to Z Sports pretty quickly here. But here's the thing. <clears throat> Preds fans are happy with the direction the team is headed in. They think they're going in the right direction, although they think that the biggest move they need to make next is to replace the head coach. They want a new head coach. They want Barry Trotz to be able to pick his own head coach. Now, my question was, what was some of the concern with the current coach? And it's it's not emotional here. It's just what were the issues? And a lot of people pretty torn between the way the lineups are being put out night by night and, of course, the way uh, <clears throat> developing, developing young players is being handled. Now, Trot said very clearly that he would be evaluating the coaching staff and the team throughout the rest of the season. And it's not in these games against these upcoming big teams that are powerful, playoff-bound, cup favorite teams that he's going to judge them on. I think it's how they're going to be playing against teams that they should be able to beat. Now, the Predators should be able to beat quite a few teams, but there's some teams they should definitely be able to beat, and the Arizona Coyotes are one of those teams. So I think when you think about what Trotz is looking at, he's going to look at games like tonight to make his decision about whether or not this team moving forward is going to be under you know the uh, the watch of of John Hines. So I think more games like this it's not a good sign for John Hines. Now if the team can turn it around and start winning and knocking off some of these teams that they should be able to blow past pretty easily even with a depleted roster, they do have a lot of young talent, but they still they're missing a couple of guys, but they should be able to get the job done against the Arizona Coyotes and they barely were able to get one goal. They had to do it with the empty net, and uh, overall not a promising performance tonight. Now, you could just say there's something about playing against Arizona. It happens. It's been a recurring theme over the past several years, but the cold hard reality is you're going to have to beat the teams that you should be able to beat if you want to make a case for hanging on to that head coaching spot. I know that's probably what a lot of people out there in Renegades of Puck land and, of course, Twitter as well, and, you know, probably even Facebook want to hear, but... That's me saying that if you want to see John Hines as the head coach next season, you're going to have to see him and his team win some of these games coming up against teams like Arizona. If they're not able to do that, I don't think it's a very promising uh, offseason for John Hines. Charlie, that's all I got. I'm going to send it back over to you.